slangs a type of language consisting of words and phrases that are regarded as very informal are more common in speech than writing and are typically restricted in formal language um um is an abbreviation for the word i am it is used with combination with other words to tell someone about yourself or to describe something you are doing here are some example i'm so tired i'm confused i'm happy i'm 20 years old i'm hungry i'm nervous i'm excited amen it describe an action you are doing most commonly you would see word end when entering a physical location such as a room or building here are some examples i'm in the shower i'm in the lobby i'm in the car i'm in a house i'm in a school um at Using the word add helps to tell someone where you currently are. The difference between at and in is that the physical location is general. Here are some examples. I'm at grocery. I'm at mall. I'm at the doctor's clinic. I'm at the parking. I'm at the airport. I'm on. Using the word on is referring to a non-physical location such as your time being utilized by something else. Here are some examples. I'm on the phone. I'm on my computer. I'm on the bus. Am, um, good at, verb plus ing or now. Again, am um, is used sure as I am good at informs someone what you are excel at and a uh, comfortable doing here are some examples i'm good at drawing i'm good at video games i'm good at swimming i'm good at driving i'm good at reading i'm good at sport um uh, plus verb plus ing am um, is a contrasting of word i am by adding a verb to I am, this lets you express an action or occurrence about yourself. Here are some examples. I'm eating food. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm scared. I'm driving to work. I'm writing an email. I'm getting. When combination the word I am and getting, you are telling someone you are gaining possession, being affected by or have plans to seek out and obtain a particular thing. Here are some examples. I'm getting better. I'm getting ready for bed. I'm getting cold. I'm getting tired. I'm getting a new car. I'm getting a new puppy. I'm trying to plus verb. I'm trying to inform someone that you are attempting to accomplish something using bodily, mental, or spiritual stretch. Exactly what is it you are attempting to do? Here are some examples. I'm trying to get a new job. I'm trying to call my family. I'm trying to enjoy my dinner. I'm trying to educate myself. I'm trying to exploring myself. I'm trying to. You may also hear the word trying used to express a way someone is feeling. In this manner, it expresses strain or distress. Here are some examples. Learning new things can be trying on you. That marathon was trying on me. I'm gonna plus verb. The word gonna is incorrect grammatically that equivalent in proper grammar would be going to when using the word gonna. You are telling someone what you are planning to do at that moment or in the near future. Here are some examples. I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna to eat some cake. I'm gonna take a swimming lesson. I'm gonna run a marathon. I'm gonna to ask her out of dinner.
I have plus noun by using the word I have you are informing someone of something you have possession of or have required Here are some example I have a nice cat I have a nice car I have a house I have a computer I have a headache I have past participle you may hear the word cannot and want to use with i have by adding these you can express that what you will not put up with or allow here are some examples i cannot have that behavior in my house i cannot have you over tonight i won't have anything to do with that i want to have it any other way I have to the word have to describe something that needs to take place soon it express certainly necessity and obligation here are some examples i have to go college i have to use telephone i have to respect my parents i have to leave now i have to offer prayer I don't have to you can also add the word don't to suggest that someone is not required to do something here are some example i don't have to switch my school i don't have much time i don't have to use telephone i don't have to leave i used to used to express something that was done in the past and is not usually done now here are some examples i'm used to develop website i used to jog every day i used to paint i used to smoke i used to work from home i used to live in california i gotcha i gotcha that is grammatically incorrect it is more of a spoken form if You want to say this word with proper grammar the equivalent would be I have go to of go to in the spoken form got to job down to gotcha add the word have what is drop here are some example I got to manage my money I got to obey the law I got to move the bigger house I got to impress my boss I wanna plus word the word wanna is incorrect grammatically it is equivalent to want to when combined with the word i it helps communicate something you want to do here are some example i wanna talk i wanna search a job i wanna order some food i wanna to get it done i wanna listen to that song I don't want to by adding the word don't you can change the meaning of what you are saying to something you want to do to something you do not want to here are some example i don't want to talk i don't want to search a job i don't want to marry her i don't want to listen to that music i don't want to order some food i would like to plus verb someone know what you would be interested in doing this can be physical mental or verbal action here are some examples i would like to answer that question i would like to compete in the cooking contest i would like to practice i would be like to become a doctor i plan to plus were plan to describe something that You would like to do in the near future. Here are some example. I plan to find a new apartment. I plan to relax on a vacation. I plan to surprise my parents. I plan to wash my car. I plan to watch a movie. I plan to read a book. Please revise these slangs and use them in daily life. Have a nice day. Thank you.